Nature is as tough and unforgiving as it is beautiful and amazing. At the end of the day, it's always the survival of the fittest. Over the years, more than 5 billion animal species have gone extinct. This includes many of the ancient creatures that dwelled our planet thousands or millions of years ago. But it turns out some of these creatures may still be alive with us today. Scientists have studied fossils and found out that some animals alive and well today have been around for millions of years. And because of various very convincing sightings, some animals we thought were extinct aren't. Frilled Shark for a long time, it was believed this species of shark had gone extinct. But in 2007, frilled sharks were discovered off the coast of Japan. These are most commonly found in Suruga Bay, Japan. It looks rather terrifying underwater. It has an eel-like body, but with the head of a shark. It is around 2 meters in length and is known for its dark brown color. It gets its name from its 6 pairs of gill slits. The frilled shark's eyes glow in the dark. But by far the scariest part about this animal is its teeth. The frilled shark has an excessive 300 trident shaped teeth. These teeth are spread out over 25 rows. And its mouth is actually much larger than the average shark's. These sharks are highly endangered. There's almost none of them left in the world. But considering they've been around for so long, that's quite an achievement. They are considered living fossils. That's because they've been around for so long. Are you ready for the number? 80 million years on Earth. This is one species that simply won't die out. Woolly Mammoth it is said that woolly mammoths went extinct roughly 10,000 years ago, but based on various sightings and even fossil finds, many believe they're still around today. After all, there are large areas of Siberia which we have not explored, and scientifically that would be the most likely place woolly mammoths would be. Woolly mammoths are like gigantic furry elephants with tusks. Known for their gigantic size and weight, they were over 11 feet tall and weighed 7 tons. That is the weight of four medium-sized elephants. Woolly mammoths actually went extinct a lot sooner than we thought. You see, they went extinct on mainland 10,000 years ago, but they were still living on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean only 4,000 years ago. And in 2012, a woolly mammoth sighting was recorded. The animal could be seen walking through this Siberian river. The person filming it did not want to get too close. They did not want to scare the animal away, and also they were worried about their own safety. Some said that this could be an elephant, but there are no wild elephants in Siberia. As late as 1948, frozen woolly mammoths have been found. But do you think some may still be alive in Siberia today? Nautilus This marine creature does not even look real. It is a mollusk and belongs to the Nautilidae family. No, that's nothing to do with Nutella. These animals have been around for more than half a billion years. Its name means sailor because it's a great swimmer. It can live at incredibly deep depths down in the ocean. This is good because it means predators can't get to them. That is partly why they've survived on Earth for so long. These animals can be found in tropical waters all over the world. This includes the waters of Fiji, Andaman and the Great Barrier Reef. Much like the frilled shark, Nautilus are also considered living fossils. Before we move on, make sure you guys do your good deed for the day and subscribe to Top 10s. Also press the notification bell too, it really helps me out. Beiji. The Beiji is a suspected extinct animal, but in recent years, experts believe that this dolphin may have returned to the Yangtze River. This is the river they're native to in China. They are a kind of dolphin which used to be very common, but after the Three Gorges Dam was built, these went extinct. Or so that's what people thought. In 2006, Chinese environmental scientists said this animal had gone extinct, but just one year later in 2007, one of these animals was videotaped. A Chinese man recorded this animal swimming in the Yangtze River. Scientist and Beiji expert Wang Ding confirmed this was a real, authentic sighting. This led to a massive expedition to try and find more. Researchers travelled more than 2,200 miles, but sadly they did not see another Beiji. However, they only covered a very small percentage of the massive Yangtze River. This means that Beijis are likely still out there somewhere. The question is, will humans ever see them again before they really die out? Sturgeon 
Sturgeons are the oldest member of the bony fish family. They are more than 200 years old. They have fins which are very similar to that of sharks, and a very long, smooth body. They also have what's known as scoots. These are five rows of bony plates which serve as body armor. They range between 7 to 12 feet in length, and they can weigh up to 2,600 pounds. The largest sturgeon was captured in 1827. It was caught in Volga, Russia, but these sturgeons can also be found in North America. In fact, they are North America's largest freshwater fish. Black Leopard Black leopards look absolutely majestic, but sadly for more than 100 years we had believed they'd gone extinct. That was until 2019. A wildlife photographer named Will Barad Lucas caught these amazing images. He photographed this black leopard in Kenya, and this proved that the elusive black leopard was not extinct. For decades, Kenyans had shared rumors of black leopards wandering around at night, and sometimes scaring village locals. Many believed that this was just myths and hearsay, but it turns out it may have been true. Coelacanth Coelocanths are normally found near the Comoro Islands. This is off the east coast of Africa. They are very hard to see because they live so far down. They're typically found around 2,300 feet below the surface. These animals live for 60 years, but they've been around for more than 360 million years. Their average length is 6.5 feet, and they normally weigh around 200 pounds. Sponge no, I'm not talking about the thing you find in your kitchen. Sea sponges are actually very strange animals, and it's what SpongeBob is supposed to be. For many years, scientists believed sea sponges were 540 million years old. That's impressive already, but in July of 2021, Canadian geologists made an amazing find. They found 890 million year old sea sponges in ancient reefs. This means that sea sponges are nearly 1 billion years old. There's over 5,000 different species of sponges in the world. They're famous for not having any organs whatsoever. They're also pretty much immortal. That's because if part of their body is ever damaged, it simply grows back. Evolution and nature has given animals a lot of body parts to help them survive. From horns that allow them to battle off their enemies, to shells they can hide in and even stingers to help them survive in nature. But it turns out that many animals got very unlucky when it comes to nature. Their bodies have some serious design flaws, and these can even end the animals' lives. Babarusa Babarusas are very similar to pigs, but they have a few major differences. For one, they're slightly taller and their skin is more tough. But the most obvious difference is their horns. They not only have two lower horns like many animals do, but they also have two upper horns as well. You may think these four fangs are great. After all, they allow Babarusas to battle off their enemies. And that is true, they can be useful. The only downside is, these horns never stop growing. Yep, a major design flaw of these horns is that they keep growing throughout a Babarusas life. Because these horns curve upwards, they can sometimes grow into the animal's head. It would be like your teeth growing upwards and entering your brain. Of course, this can eventually take the Babarusa's life. Its horns can literally grow into its skull, and when it enters its brain, then the animal can pass away. These are also badly designed because they block Babarusa's view. But thankfully, nature did cut these animals a break. Luckily, their horns are very fragile. In most cases, having fragile horns would be a bad thing, but in this case it means that Babarusas' horns sometimes break before entering their brains. If Babarusas are in the wild, they have to hope they get lucky and their horns break off. This can sometimes happen during fights, and if they're in captivity then humans will need to remove these horns on a regular basis. Either way, I think it's safe to say this animal got the middle finger from evolution. Turtle Turtles and tortoises are often called indestructible animals. They are known to live for over 100 years, and they are protected by their shells. Their shells are incredibly strong, 
Seriously, if the army could use these on tactical gear, then they would. But it turns out that nature gave turtles a major design flaw, one that often ends their lives. That is that if a turtle rolls onto its back, it can't roll back over. If you're a turtle and this happens, you'd better pray that you have a rounded shell, because if you don't, then there's a good chance you will never roll back over. If a turtle gets stuck on its back, there are various ways its life can end. The most common is from the sun. The turtle is not shaded by its shell at all, and it also can't move anywhere to get water, so it basically gets slow cooked by the sun. That is brutal. If the turtle is not in a sunny place, it can simply starve. Because it can't move anywhere or eat, it basically starves and passes away. And another very common way they pass away when flipped over is due to predators. They are totally helpless and can't defend themselves. They can't even seek shelter inside their shells. So for any predators, it's basically open season. Reindeer. Reindeer antlers are very sharp and very large. Combined with the body strength of a reindeer, they can be fierce weapons. But reindeer's antlers often cause them to lose their own lives. You see, reindeer often spar each other. It's very normal for males to battle over females. Kind of similar to humans. But when reindeers fight, normally only one of them walks away alive. However, during some of these fights, the antlers can get intertwined. This means the reindeer can't move properly. They also can't eat or drink and eventually pass away. If this happens near water, the reindeer can sometimes fall in and get frozen. Sometimes people come across reindeer who have become intertwined. They end up freeing them by cutting their antlers. This is painless and can save the reindeer's lives. Argali. Argalies are also known as mountain sheep. They're mainly found in Central and Eastern Asia. Argalies are the largest type of rams in the world, and they're famous for their very bulky horns. Their horns are great for battling rivals, but they come with a major design flaw. They are in a very unique corkscrew shape, and they keep growing throughout their lives. This means their horns can sometimes grow back into their bodies. This happens a lot to older Argolies. When this happens, it can be very slow and very painful, and this can lead to the Argolies passing away. Sloth. Sloths are known for not doing very much. They spend most of their time in trees, relaxing. And it's no secret that nature has given sloths some major design flaws. For one, they move incredibly slowly. When they're in danger, they can run at a maximum speed of 0.16 miles per hour, which means that any other animal will easily catch them. Sloths also sleep for about 20 hours per day, and they're very friendly too, but their slowness, sleepiness, and friendliness often costs them their lives. All of their predators, which are pretty much every animal, can see that the sloth isn't going anywhere fast. This makes them easy pickings for things like mammals and even birds too. Horses and donkeys. Horses and donkeys are on their feet almost all day, and that's why they need very strong hooves. But one design flaw with horses and donkeys is that their hooves keep growing. They need them cut at regular intervals. If they're on a farm, this will happen. But if they're in the wild, then it won't. If their hooves aren't cut, then the animal won't be able to walk straight. This can be very painful to the animal. Uncut hooves often cause horses and donkeys that live in the mountains to fall. Sheep. This is one animal design flaw that can't be blamed on nature. Instead, it's our fault. Over the years, humans have bred sheep to make sure that they're very fluffy. The thicker a sheep's coat is, the more wool can be harvested from them. Sometimes, sheep's wool is not cut in time. And when that happens, things can go really bad really fast. Long wool can lead to heat stroke of the animal and cause them to pass away. Also, if a sheep's wool gets too thick, parasites can build up inside it. This causes a lot of itching, which is why sheep often rub up against trees and fences. This can sometimes cause damage to a sheep's skin, 
This can then cause infections and the sheep could pass away. We all like having wool products, but is it really worth it if the sheep have to live like this? Bees Nobody likes getting stung by bees. But do you know who dislikes bee stings more than anyone? Bees. When a bee stings you, the stinger is not removed from the bee. Instead, the bee pulls its body off the stinger by force. This ruptures the bee's abdomen, causing it to pass away. The white part of a bee sting is not part of the stinger. Instead, it's the bee's muscles, nerves, and part of its digestive tract too. Dogs can be a man's best friend, but get on the wrong side of these dogs and they will quickly turn into your worst enemy, and you won't survive for more than a few seconds. These are the most vicious dogs that can end your life very fast. These dogs are powerful, aggressive, and in some countries, even illegal. Let's get it on. Malinois the Belgian Malinois is one of the most deadly dogs known to man. The dog is too powerful for police forces, and is often reserved for special forces and military use. The Malinois can launch itself through the air. It looks like they can fly. These dogs really can enter creative mode if they want to, and they give Michael Jordan a run for his money. It's said Malinois can take a human life in a mere 10 seconds. That's probably why they're illegal in many countries. They are illegal in Bermuda, Romania, Ukraine, and Malaysia. Kangol The Turkish Kangol has the strongest bite of any dog. It has a bite force of 743 PSI. This means Kangol's can easily bite through bones. Kangol's can also outrun almost any human. Their long legs allow them to run at top speeds of 30 miles an hour. Their legs also allow them to jump 2 meters into the air. If you try to harm a Kangol, then there's a good chance he won't live to tell the tale. These dogs can start small, but quickly grow to be larger than their owners. Wolf Dog If you thought wolves were scary, then take a look at this dog. Wolf dogs are a crossbreed of domesticated dogs and wild wolves. This breed is very beloved by humans, but these dogs can also be very dangerous. These dogs have what's known as wolf brains. For example, they have a pack mentality. They are very protective of their pack leader which in their case is their human owner. Sometimes they can be overly aggressive to outsiders, and that's why they're a favorite for many families to use as guard dogs. Wolves are known to battle each other all day every day to establish dominance. This means if you get on the wrong side of a wolf dog, then you won't last long. They are very wild, unpredictable, and have a strong bite force too. That's why in many countries and states, it's illegal to own a wolf dog. Pero de Peresa Canario These dogs don't just look scary. These dogs can be incredibly vicious. They are catch dogs, meaning that they used to be used by hunters. But today, many people have them as pets. They are a mix of various breeds of fighting dogs. So it's no surprise this dog can take a human life in seconds. They are used in farming and also dogfighting too. Dogfighting is of course illegal. But when dogfighting rings are broken up, many Perro di Pressa Canarios are found and rescued. Cane Corso the Cane Corso is a very scary dog which is banned in most US states. They are commonly used as guard dogs, but don't get on the wrong side of one of these dogs. They are known to keep a lookout of their territory, and if you happen to stumble onto it, then they will attack. The Cane Corso has one of the most powerful jaws on any dog, and it's this jaw which has taken many human lives. There are many cases of cane corsos injuring humans every year. Because they have been crossbred with fighting dogs, cane corsos are very dominant. This means they may assert themselves by being aggressive and biting you. In some cases, they can even chase down other animals. They are very muscular and fast, meaning that they can overpower just about any human or animal. Cane Corsos are known as the most unfriendly dog breed in the world. 
They are very antisocial. If too many other dogs or humans are around, then they may lash out and attack. Alaskan Malamute Alaskan Malamutes can look very cool and cute, but don't be fooled by their looks. They are very tough, strong, and sometimes aggressive. They're strong because they used to be used as sleigh dogs, meaning they would have to pull heavy loads. They also have thick coats, meaning they can survive in below freezing temperatures, and can live out in the open with very little shelter or food. They can also sometimes be dangerous to humans and other animals. Malamutes are natural hunters. Sarplaninac Sarplaninac shepherds are used in farming not only to herd animals, but also to protect them. Just look at this Sarplaninac protecting some pigs from a bear. Sarplaninacs can grow to be incredibly tall. It's very hard to control these dogs on a leash even if you're strong. If you break into a house, then you won't last long if the owner has this dog. The dog is so powerful that it's been banned in many countries, most recently in Denmark. Alibay the Alibay is one of the most impressive and scary dog breeds in the world. These dogs are muscular, very heavy, and also very tall. These dogs can even pull 2,500 pound cars. The leash on these dogs is more just for show. There's pretty much no way you'll beat this dog in a fight. Alibays aren't even afraid of tigers. After all, they have a similar bite force to a tiger. This has led to the dog being banned in many countries around the world. Pitbull No dog breed attacks humans more than the Pitbull Terrier. They make up around 35% of all dog injuries. Pitbulls can also be very strong and muscular. Just take a look at this Pitbull pulling a car. Pitbulls are banned in over 8 countries, including Germany and some US states. Because of how ferocious they are, you can see why. Humans and animals can get along great, but sometimes animals are unpredictable. Sometimes even the most normal pets like cats and dogs can turn on their owners. And at other times, people have terrifying and exotic animals you really should not domesticate. Here are some of the most wild times people had scary pets and soon regretted it. Wolf Pack Sandra L. Poivison was a resident of Pittsburgh, USA. She was kind of like a crazy cat lady, but for wolves. She absolutely loved her wolf pack of nine. She would look after them, play with them, and feed them every day. She did not care what people thought despite the animals being dangerous and non-domesticated. Sandra once told her neighbor that her wolves loved her unconditionally. But soon after this, her nine wolves ate her. 50-year-old Sandra had devoted her entire lives to her wolf pack. Her house and backyard was configured to their desires. For example, in her backyard was a gigantic plastic playhouse, and even a replica igloo so the wolves would feel at home. However, just because you take a wild animal out of their environment does not stop them being a wild animal. Sandra learned this the hard way. Despite her backyard and house being large, it was not large enough for the nine wolves. This caused them to act out in a vicious way. Sandra would often feed her pet wolves roadkill deer. But despite her efforts to make her Pittsburgh home similar to their natural environment, it did not work. And for this, she paid the ultimate price. Tiger Activist Everyone remembers the Netflix series Tiger King. It featured Carol Baskin, an activist who was trying to make it illegal for certain people to own exotic pets. She got a lot of negativity from that, but after hearing this story, maybe you'll agree with her a little bit more. Norman Bewalder was a 66-year-old man from Ontario, Canada. He was the chairman of the Canadian Exotic Animal Owners Association. This was an advocacy group all about making sure people are allowed to own things like lions and tigers as pets. Norman even kept his own exotic feline, a Siberian tiger. But this scary animal did not come without many problems, which almost went against his organization's case for allowing people to keep tigers as pets. One day, a young boy went to his house to take a photo with his tiger. But this ended in the tiger mauling the boy. 
Naturally, his neighbors were terrified. They petitioned for a new law to be created, prohibiting him and others from owning tigers and lions. This went to court, and the judge surprisingly ruled in Norman's favor. But it did not take long for Norman's luck to change. A few years later, he entered his tiger's cage defeated and was mauled. Sadly, he did not survive. It's ironic that if he'd lost that court case, he would still be alive to this day. But I guess he took the saying, live free or die, very literally. Maybe it is best to live a shorter amount of time by your principles. Black Widow This terrifying story shows the dangers of hoarding. Mark Vogel was a 30-year-old hoarder from Germany. He would almost never leave his home and not allow anyone to visit. Not that anyone would even want to. That's because Vogel was a collector of exotic animals and insects. He collected poisonous reptiles, frogs and snakes, and also many spiders too. He would even collect insects such as termites. But one day his neighbors smelled something strange. And it wasn't merely the insects and animals. When cops entered his residence, they were stunned. They saw something straight out of Indiana Jones. Mark's body was being eaten by around 200 spiders. Lizards, snakes, and thousands of termites also had joined in. The scariest part, there were bugs coming from his eyes, mouth, and nose. I'm sorry I even had to tell you guys that. Mark Vogel lived for many years among all of these animals, so what went wrong? Well, investigators found the culprit was his Black Widow spider. The spider that he'd named Patina had bitten him. This caused him to pass away. After several days, the insects and animals got hungry and escaped their cages, and promptly began eating Mark. Hungry Dogs Dogs are a man's best friend, and are normally not dangerous at all. That is, unless you mistreat your dogs, on purpose or by accident. This was the case with one man named Andre Lumboga. In 2011, Andre went on vacation, and instead of putting them in a doggy daycare or getting someone to feed them, he totally forgot all about them. He was away for two weeks, meaning his nine dogs were getting very hungry and thirsty. When he returned home, his neighbors noticed something strange. His luggage had been left outside his house, and it stayed there for many days after he'd returned. They called the cops, and police went to investigate. But when they entered Andre's residence, they realized what had happened. The dogs, who were incredibly hungry, ate him as soon as he returned home. There were only seven dogs left, as the two smaller ones had been eaten by the bigger dogs. This just goes to show that you should always look after your pet. Dogs are incredibly loyal, but if you treat them badly, then the tables will turn. Teddy Bear Kellyanne Waltz was a connoisseur of very dangerous pets. She looked after a tiger, a mountain lion, and also a bear. Her 350-pound bear was named Teddy. Kelly was not trying to remake Noah's Ark. Instead, she just loved very scary and unusual pets. But her love for these animals was not repaid. One day, she was cleaning out Teddy's cage. She would do this by throwing food to distract him, and then while he was eating, clean out the cage. But instead of the food Kelly was throwing, Teddy wanted to eat something else. That was his owner. Teddy began eating Kelly. Scott Castone, her neighbor, actually saw this happen. Using a rifle, he tried to sedate the bear, but to no avail. Sadly, 37-year-old Kelly did not make it. Her neighbor, Scott, said that her exotic animals were never a problem, and she had done the same cage-cleaning procedure thousands of times. It just goes to show that animals are incredibly unpredictable. You never know what might set them off and cause you a world of trouble. Famous Chimp we're pretty used to seeing animals on movies and TV shows. These are normally very well-trained animals, which are not a threat to humans. But just because an animal has been in the media does not make it a totally safe domesticated animal. Carla Nash learned this the hard way. One day, she was visiting her friend Sandra Herald. Sandra owned a chimpanzee called Travis. Travis was a rather famous chimp. He had appeared in TV commercials for Coca-Cola and Old Navy. He was normally very well behaved, but when he saw Carla, this all changed. Travis jumped on Carla, biting and scratching her. Eventually, police arrived and had to neutralize the chimp. Carla had to have facial reconstruction surgery, and also live in an assisted living community because of her injuries. Medicate Diablo 
Amanda Ruth owned several snakes. This included one very large boa constrictor, but it turned out the most dangerous snake she owned would be a python named Diablo. One day, Amanda had to medicate Diablo. She tried to give him medicine with a syringe, but as she was doing this, the python bit her. Sadly, this took her life, and when her husband returned home, he found her under a sign that said, Medicate Diablo. When it comes to pets, most people have something fairly common, like a cat or dog. These do make great pets, but what if you want something slightly more cute and rare? Well, you may be surprised to learn that you can even own some of the animals in this video. Some don't even look real, but they make for great pets. Sugar Glider Flying squirrels are incredibly cute, but they are wild animals that you can't own as a pet. Sugar gliders, on the other hand, make for a great pet. Sugar gliders are insanely cute. They look similar to a hamster, but they can fly, or at least glide into your hand. They are known for their gigantic and shiny eyes. Sugar gliders are part of the marsupial family, just like kangaroos, koalas, and Tasmanian devils. They mainly drink milk and eat rice. The female's glider also acts as a pouch for its young. It would be pretty amazing having one of these exotic animals gliding around your home. Sugar gliders are native to Australia, but are now in many countries. The average price of a sugar glider is $400. Finger Monkey Monkeys are incredibly cute, but they're mainly found in the wild or in zoos. After all, if not trained well, they can be very aggressive and dangerous to humans. Finger monkeys, on the other hand, make for great pets. These cute animals are called pygmy marmosets, but they are more commonly referred to as finger monkeys. They are only 6 inches, which means they can sit on your finger, hence the name. Finger monkeys are very social creatures, which is why many people get more than one as a pet. Otherwise, they can get lonely and unhappy. These finger monkeys may be small, but they can leap 15 feet into the air. Finger monkeys are the smallest type of monkey in the world, but they are not the smallest primates. That record goes to the Philippine Tarsier. Finger monkeys are rather rare and exotic, and that's why their price range is $1,500 to $4,000. Fennec Fox Foxes are wild animals, which are normally found trying to eat stuff out of your trash can. Fennec foxes, on the other hand, are incredibly small, cute, and can be owned as a pet. They are famous for their magnificent large ears. These foxes are native to Africa, but are housed as pets in many countries around the world. A fully grown fennec fox only weighs 4 pounds. Some say the fennec fox is a cuter alternative to any cat or dog. And many say their behavior is like a hybrid of a cat and a dog. They have the independence of a cat, but the loyalty and playfulness of a dog. Fennec foxes typically sell for about $2,500. They are legal to own in almost any country and live for 15 years or more. Fennec foxes also do not have a musk gland. This means that unlike regular foxes, they don't smell bad at all. Just make sure these playful animals have enough room to run around. Pygmy Jaboa These mini rodents are native to Africa, but are kept as pets all over the world. Many say they're like a hybrid between a gerbil and a kangaroo. They look like tiny balls of fur with eyes. These pets can be complicated to care for. They are most popular in countries such as Japan and South Korea. Because these cute animals are very exotic and have to be imported, they can normally cost over $1,000. Honduran White Bat Bats are normally seen as scary animals, but these very cute tiny bats from Honduras can be kept as pets. Unlike any other bat, Honduran White Bats have white fur. They also have a yellow nose and ears. These can be owned as pets, but most people find it too complex to care for them. They don't need lots of space, but their environment does have to be the same as it is in the wild. They also eat a very rare fig found in rainforests. These are quite hard to collect, meaning that it would be very expensive to feed these. But if you have the means and really love these animals, then maybe it's worth it. After all, they are super cute. Baby Tiger We've all seen celebrities who have pet tigers. For example, Mike Tyson famously wrestled with his pet tiger. 
Fully grown tigers can be rather scary and expensive to house as pets. But baby tigers are much easier to care for and are also much cuter. Most tigers in the USA are actually kept as pets, not in the wild or in zoos. At first, baby tigers only drink milk. But when they get older, they will start to eat hundreds of dollars of meat per day. That's why many people give their baby tigers to zoos as they get older. But if you have the means and also the space, then they make great pets even as adults. Many rich people in Dubai and Saudi Arabia keep tigers as pets. If they are raised around humans as kids, then they are not threatening to humans when they're adults. But as babies, tigers are super cute. Red Panda Keeping a normal panda as a pet is pretty much impossible. But don't despair if you want a panda as a pet. That's because red pandas make for a great pet. Red pandas are much cuter and smaller than normal pandas. They're actually not very biologically similar to pandas. Some say they're more like bears or raccoons. And others say they are their very own species. Their fur looks amazing and beautiful. And they love roaming around in snowy environments. Slow Lorries Slow Lorries are similar to sloths, but are much cuter and make for better pets. They are famous for their gigantic eyes. They have these because they are nocturnal. This means that if you want to spend time with them, then you better be a night owl. That's because these animals are awake at night and sleep in the day. These primates are native to Asia. They are most popular as pets in Russia and Japan, but they are very expensive, costing around $18,000. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these pets you would want the most. 